Okay, well, I've uh, turned my attention uh, on these little motor projects to the bearing issue. And uh, when I built this easy spin here, I went ahead and bought the uh, correct sapphire jewel bearings for it, and it really does make a difference. Um, from other bearing uh, things that I've tried on these uh, little motor projects that I've built over the years, and uh, the one that really worked the best is a sapphire jewel bearing running on a steel needle. Uh, there's a, another bearing on the bottom. They're a V-shaped sapphire. You get it at Swiss Jewel Company online. Swiss Jewel Company. And uh, they're like a watch bearing, I suppose, but they're bigger than you'd use in a watch. But I also tried this one uh, here. And this one here is a, um, a small one that uh, is adjustable top and bottom and actually I uh, did have some success with uh, these small jewel bearings and if you do your structure correctly and it's rigid enough you can get away with uh, using a small jewel bearing and they're spring loaded there's a spring inside that and you can adjust it um, um, so that the tension is just right and use a, a real lightweight oil uh, for a lubricant and you can make a really nice low friction uh, spinner. Uh, this is one over here, same thing, uh, using a battery powered driver. But anyway, it made me stop and think, what are you trying to get away with here? What are you trying to do with these projects? Well, you want, you want to make something that uh, is a desktop um, curiosity item that um, runs for a long time. This one's running on a solar panel. Um, that's on a super cap. Now this one here, which is uh, laser savers, I believe it's the version three. Um, I just have a Phillips screw and a darning needle and a thin a piece of thin plastic with a hole in it, and that actually works pretty darn good. You, you really don't need a sapphire bearing to make something that runs pretty darn good. And of course, the simplest. It's just a toothpick with crazy glue on it, coated with graphite, and it actually makes a pretty darn good bearing. So anyway, like I said, I've kind of turned my attention to what is needed for a bearing to make something that will run a long, long time. And uh, that won't. That's not going to run very long. This one will. If I could keep the dirt out of that, I think that would run for a long, 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 long time. Um, you use a, a real a quality lightweight oil. It's a sapphire V bearing, what they call V, V E E. And then uh, this particular one is adjustable. And uh, there's different sizes. I happen to get a bunch of these off of eBay and the small ones and wanted to try them. And then this is a fixed one that you have to make your own adjustment on it. But anyway, that's where I've been at lately is looking at bearing surfaces for these uh, long duration running uh, curiosity items. And that's really all they are. People ask me, I'll say, what's it good for? What's well, curious? It's a curious little item that uh, uh, it's just meant for uh, something you uh, play with. It's, it's a toy, basically, a desktop toy. Thanks for watching.